Hello guys and welcome back to another Bitcoin market update. Cryptocurrencies have been in a downturn for over 120 days. The pain has become unbearable. Should you sell everything and become a regular human being once again? The short answer is no, because only bear market dwellers get rich and find financial freedom in cryptocurrencies. Are you not tired of always buying the top? Well, you don't have to. Buy the dip or buy the top, it's your choice. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about Bitcoin, altcoins, and also altcoin season. Wells know that you have a short attention spam. So they dump the market for a few months until retail gets out. Then they pump it again until retail comes back in to buy the top. So if you don't watch the entire video, you must not care about making money in crypto. We're going to compare this current bear market to the bear market that we had last year. From the top to the ultimate reversal, last year's bear market lasted 100 days. And the current bear market has outlasted the last bear market with 122 days of a downtrend. So let's begin with this, guys. This is very similar price action. We have a blow off top then we come back down to a point of support and we start consolidating sideways until we finally get that macro trend reversal and Bitcoin puts in a higher high. And that's not even counting that we have a higher high and a higher low structure. I'm going to give you a few price targets, but today's video is mostly about the altcoins. So make sure to watch until the end. Bitcoin has resistance at the $46,000 level, if we're able to break above, we have a price target around $59,000. On the other hand, if we go below the $33,000 support level, we're likely going to target the $28,500 level, which is the last level of support when it comes to a higher low structure. What is going on with all coins? What is going on with the Bitcoin dominance? Why is this chart so relevant to all coins performance? So pretty much, I want to give you guys a way to visualize this. We're going to compare the Bitcoin dominance to Harmony One's price action. In theory, as the Bitcoin dominance goes down, all coins should outperform Bitcoin. We're going to put a vertical line at this point where we have a Bitcoin dominance blow off top in the immediate short term. Then, we're going to place another vertical line at the point where the Bitcoin dominance has a trend reversal. And here you guys have it. The Bitcoin dominance begins to go down until eventually we have a trend reversal at the second blue line. And what did Harmony do in the meantime? It had a nice pump of 120%. And you guys have to consider that this mini altcoin season that we saw last year is pretty much insignificant compared to the bigger altcoin season that we had in the beginning of 2021, where the Bitcoin dominance collapsed from a high of above 70 to a low of 40%. That is 30% of the entire market's liquidity flowing into altcoins. And guys, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not, but I learned this the hard way. I had a bunch of altcoins right here just before the Bitcoin dominance collapse. It does sound a little bit like funny games, but I would have made almost $200,000 in a four month spam only if I knew what I was doing. So where are we at right now? We have the Bitcoin dominance index approaching a support level, but you guys have to realize we have a descending triangle where every high is lower and we keep finding support at the same horizontal level. And you guys should know that as a principle of technical analysis, the more that we test a specific support level, the weaker it becomes and the more likely it is that will fail to hold above it. And this is really interesting because we have a small descending triangle inside of a bigger descending triangle. And of course, over the last two months, all coins have suffered a lot because we have seen the Bitcoin dominance come back up once again. And I could actually show you, we just had 
56 days in a row of the Bitcoin dominance going up and right now we are testing the resistance level. So if we come back down to retest the 40% support level, we are going to see a mini altcoin season that will likely last for a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months. But the real test guys and the reason why I am making this video is because we will eventually retest this 35% support level. And sure, we're likely going to find support at this level for some time, but we will eventually consolidate and plummet right below it. And I promise you guys, you will want to own all coins by that time. If you guys enjoyed the video, like always, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I do very often Bitcoin updates and I talk about a bunch of different altcoins. If you have any questions regarding altcoins or Bitcoin, make sure to join the Crypto Dynamics Telegram community in the description below this video. It's free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bybit has now launched a new sign up and deposit bonus. If you deposit in the first seven days, you can get a bonus up to $3,500. Also, if you guys have any issues with IP address restrictions, check out NordVPN. This is what I use personally.